It's the only time you go through Sisters when you're headed over the mountains. If so, you're missing out. Mackenzie Wilson takes us to the small town with a lot to offer. I wanted to know, what is a morning in Sisters like? So Erin Borla from the Chamber of Commerce took me around last week and she showed me a lot. But all of that was only the beginning of my tour. So this is the sampler tray from Three Creeks and all sorts of great beer. So this is the Naughty Blonde, what they're most famous for. This is the rye. I totally mm -hmm. love the rye. Um, and then they have like Anvil Amber in here, the red, the chocolate porter. The red is also one of my favorites. So yeah. all sorts of good choices. Can't go wrong. Can I try the red? Do it. All right. I feel like you've probably had, you said it's okay. your favorite. So you've you had it before. One, you yeah. try something new. I'm going to do this one. This is really good. Isn't that good? You have a huge Fresh Hop oh, yeah. Festival here. We have here. the Fresh Hop Festival every year. Uh, this will be the fifth year. It's in September on the 27th. So uh, it's all celebrating Fresh Hop beers, which basically the brewers make their beer with hops straight off the vine. A lot of the brewers go directly to the hop farm, pull the hops off the vine themselves, and then brew with those. It's kind of like cooking with fresh herbs versus cooking with dried herbs. So yeah. Really <laughs> tasty. So have you had their food here? Oh, yeah. Food's great. Um, they have all sorts of great specials. They change, you know, pretty frequently. Um, but great coconut onion rings. Those are pretty tasty. Coconut onion yeah. rings. Those sound pretty good. Oh, Three Creeks was awesome. And while I love beer, I'm also a sucker for a glass of wine or three. This is Cork Cellars. Mm -hmm. They have an amazing selection of wine and also great food, small plates, wonderful desserts, and all sorts of options available. Great tasting plates. And it's just a great place to come for a great evening out. I can't believe there's so many different bottles of wine in here. No, it's, it's like amazing. the whole place is filled up with wine. And I love what they've done with the great selection of different beers that you're going to find too. So oh, they have beers too. If you're not a wine drinker, there's all sorts of beer, they have cider, all sorts of things. So. Well, this is a place to come though if you want to try out a bunch of different wines. I feel like that's what sometimes you need is like wine can be so intimidating and to be able to come to a place where they have all different kinds, all different right. price ranges. Cause What's really great about this place here is they've done such a nice job of making it feel casual that you mm -hmm. can come in no matter no matter what. If you want to go out for a fancy evening or if you want to come in and have a nice casual glass of wine with your buddies, you totally can do that. So. I could see having some serious wine Wednesday in this place. Hey, there you go. I think you should do it. Bring my friends <laughs> here. And before we headed back to Bend, we had one more important stop. So have you ever been to the Sisters Movie House before? No, I haven't. I've driven past it a million times and said I want to go there and never made it. It's a great place to stop. Four screens, first run films, all sorts of cool stuff going on. Nice. Wow. It's pretty. So it's constructed like a barn here in town and it's got great movies that are playing all the time. They start in the afternoon and run through the early evening. And you said they serve beer and wine here too? Beer and wine, full menu. Well, had we not already hit our drinking on TV quota for today, <laughs> definitely would have taken advantage of that next time. There'll be a next time. That's right.